Welcome to our top five list of truly funny horror movies. Whitney, who did Frankenstein go trick-or-treating with? Who? His ghoul friend. Ugh. So these movies are available now at the library and are safe to enjoy with even the youngest of goblins. So I'm a 90s kid and Hocus Pocus was one of my favorite Halloween movies. Three sisters who happen to be witches are burned at the stake for, you know, witchcraft. They create a spell that allows them to come back and stay young forever at the expense of the local town's children. The catch is they have to do it before the sun rises. Don't light the black flame candle. <sighs> young Frankenstein is easily the greatest horror movie spoof ever. A young neuroscientist inherits his grandfather's castle and discovers his grandfather might really have discovered the secret of reanimation. Ahem, <clears throat> it's Frankenstein. In Beetlejuice, a couple dies and wakes up only to realize their house has been taken over by another family, a living family. The couple can't scare the family away, so they seek the help of someone who might be able to exercise the living out of the house. What was his, what was his name again? What Beetlejuice! Beetlejuice! No! In the musical, Little Shop of Horrors, a talking Venus flytrap turns out to be way more maintenance than your typical house plant. Feed me, Seymour, feed me! You know, that might be one house plant I could keep alive. So The Nightmare Before Christmas is another classic from the 90s. Jack Skellington discovers a new world called Christmas Town. He decides to kidnap Santa and has the people of Halloween Town make toys for all the children, but he soon realizes that Halloween may not mix well with Christmas. The real question is, is this a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie? <laughs>